Hello, welcome to our news broadcast daily. And following are today's headlines. UK businesses wish to invest in infrastructure projects in Ho Chi Minh City. Vietnamese trademark program takes place in Hanoi. Vietnamese people celebrate Doan Ngoc Festival, known as Day for Killing Inner Insects. The United Kingdom firms wish to assist and invest in infrastructure projects in Ho Chi Minh City. Visiting UK Minister of State for Trade and Investment, Lord Green, told Chairman of the Ho Chi Minh City People's Committee, Le Huang Guan, in the city on June 11th. Green said his visit aims to devise specific programs to invest in Vietnam and the city in particular. He said he hopes dialogues and exchanges between the city leaders and UK partners on the public-private partnership model will benefit the city's urban development. Chairman Quan expressed his belief that the visit will help make it easier for potential UK investors to invest in the city in the future. At present, Ho Chi Minh City is home to 50 United Kingdom representative offices and 30 projects worth nearly 600 million US dollars. Ho Chi Minh City and China's Guangxi province have signed a memorandum of understanding establishing the friendship and cooperation. The document states that the two localities will work together in the fields of science and technology, tourism, culture, education, environmental protection, sports, healthcare, urban planning, and street. The leaders of the two localities will frequently exchange visits, as with the heads of relevant agencies and departments, to work together and deal with issues of common concern. Earlier, Ho Chi Minh City People's Committee Chairman Le Huang Quan received a visiting delegation from Guangxi Province, led by Secretary of the Region's Party Committee Peng Qinghua. At the reception, both leaders stated their belief that the establishment of formal cooperative ties between the two regions will lead to a new period of development and allow individuals and enterprises in both localities to improve their economic partnership and opportunities for cultural exchange. Policymakers, experts, economists, and local authorities discussed measures to promote Vietnamese trademarks in the world market at the Vietnamese Trademark Forum in Hanoi on June 12. The forum is part of the National Trademark Program, co-organized by the Trade Promotion Agency, the Program Secretariat, and the Vietnam News Agency's Tin Tuk Newspaper. The Old Thang Hai, head of the Trade Promotion Agency, said Vietnamese businesses have made progresses in building and developing their trademarks and raising the competitiveness of their products, especially those operating in garments and textiles, leather and footwear, and farming products. However, high and other delegates at the event also cited the lack of experience and limited capacity of domestic businesses as factors lowering their products' competitiveness. I said, apart from product quality, businesses should pay attention to the distribution system. When Dick Lo, Director General of the Vietnam News Agency, called on localities, businesses and entrepreneurs to conduct practical activities in order to preserve the quality, British and competitive edge of Vietnamese services and products. At an investment and trade seminar in Hanoi on June 12, officials from both Vietnam and Mozambique expressed their wish for stronger bilateral investment ties. Addressing the function, Deputy Minister of Planning and Investment Dao Quang Thu expressed hope that the Mozambican government will continue assisting and creating conditions for Vietnamese businesses to operate in the country. Minister Thu also pledged to work with relevant ministries and branches to support both countries' enterprises that want to do business in the other country. 
Mozambican Minister of Planning and Development Ayuba Guineer urged Vietnamese businesses to invest in banking, finance, agriculture, transport, industry, and telecommunications in his country. Mozambique now ranks 8 out of 80 destinations of Vietnamese investment, attracting about 350 million US dollars. The country has demand for rice, foodstuff, and fertilizer, while Vietnam looks to import cotton, gastronaut, and animal feed from the African country. Nha Trang Sea Festival 2013, one of the biggest cultural events in the central coastal region, is part of efforts to promote sea tourism-based economy in Khánh Hòa province, as well as the economic might of sea and islands of Vietnam. Over 450,000 domestic and foreign visitors rushed to the four-day festival, which concluded on June 11. The biannual event is the sixth of its kind since 2003. A string of cultural and sports activities like folk games, fishing competition, human chess games, beach volleyball and handball for men and women impressed the visitors, helping uphold cultural identities of the host locality. Seminars on swallow farming, tourist products and cruise tourism development also highlighted the potentials of the province in particular. Le Xuân Thân, Vice Chairman of Khánh Hòa Provincial People's Committee, said, apart from entertaining the visitors, the festival underscored the beauty of the country, sea and islands, and sent out the message that everyone should do more to protect the nation's sea and islands. This year's sea festival, with the theme Nha Chiang Rendezvous, features over 60 activities, such as an exhibition on sea cultural heritage, Khánh Hòa Vietnam International Sea and Islands Tourism Fair, a carnival and other events towards Chung Sa Archipelago. Under Vietnam Sea Strategy by 2020, the sea-based economy is expected to contribute 53 to 55 percent of the country's GDP and 55 to 60 percent of its export turnover. The Vietnamese people nationwide on June 12 celebrated Duan Ngo Festival, known as the Day for Killing Inner Insects. Traditionally, the festival is also a chance for family gatherings. Trinh Thi Sơn from Kham Thượng Commune in Hanus Barri district is always preparing for Duan Ngo Festival. One day before the festival, she brought fruits, cleaned them and put them on the altar. I prepare a tray of five fruits, especially sour fruits for kids to gain intestinal worms. My family always makes good preparations for the festival. The festival has been celebrated for a long time in Vietnam. It falls on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month each year, a time of transition from spring to summer, making it easier for intestinal worms and diseases to develop. The event is thus helped to dispel diseases and ward up evil spirits during the rest of the year. Traditionally, after waking up in the morning, family members clean their mouth with water for three times, then eat a broad egg, one bowl of fermented sticky rice, and sour fruits, which is believed to make inner parasites to get drunk. The children have their head, chest, and belly button of blood with liquid alarm to prevent belly ache and headache. Then all of them will go swimming to protect them against heat rash. According to the custom, this day is to worship ancestors and deities residing in each family. Secondly, it is to pray for prosperity, health, and proper habits. Nowadays, due to the busy daily life, especially in urban cities, not every procedure of the festival is conducted. However, for many people, especially in suburban areas, the festival is a chance to express their gratitude to ancestors and parents. How busy they are, they still remember the day. And that is the end of our news today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.